Mackie, five minutes. Thank you, uh, Mr Speaker, and, and Labor will not be supporting this Housing Accords and Special Areas Bill. Uh, and it's not because we don't think that those accords or these special areas or fast-tracking of consents are, are necessarily a bad thing. Uh, it's simply because this bill will do nothing to increase the supply of affordable housing. And had we had, and we seem to have a government that, that says they want to do things but then refuses to put those things in legislation. Uh, and it's been a bit of a theme this week, put it in the bill. If what you want is affordable housing, put it in the bill, because the fact that, uh, that the government has refused to actually enshrine in legislation that this is about affordable housing uh, leads us to believe that that's not really what it's about at all. And, and the, the fact is, what this bill will deliver is if it delivers more houses, it will deliver more unaffordable houses. And how is that a solution to affordable housing? And from our perspective in the Labour Party, we think that if you're not prepared to actually, in the legislation, make it clear that this is about not just any old home uh, in these parts of the country which are un unaffordable, Mr Speaker, that these are about affordable homes, then you're probably not that serious about it. That probably indicates that you're not that serious about it. And this government isn't serious about affordable housing at all. If you look at their track record, you see that they haven't been serious about the issue of affordable housing. The, the, great, the, the great initiatives of the National Party are two things. One, interest rates, which the global financial crisis uh, delivered lower interest rates, and, and they've tried to take uh, credit for that, saying that, that somehow it's been by their good management and not by a complete collapse of the global economy that interest rates have come down. But interest rates have come down because we've been in a recession. And I would say the Honourable Phil Heatley, a recession isn't a housing policy. Uh, and it's very worrying to hear from the National Party that they seem to think that a recession is an affordable housing policy. Well, even with the recession and the global financial crisis, we haven't seen the affordable housing crisis go away. Now, the second big scheme they had um, was their gateway affordable housing scheme. This was going to be the big game changer that was going to deliver uh, affordable houses to first homeowners who needed them in those markets where uh, housing was particularly unaffordable, uh, the main one being Auckland. And at Hobsonville, Hobsonville was going to be the first place, it's a, it's a Greenfields development, the first place that we saw these, these, all these hundreds and hundreds of affordable homes. And how many did we have? I think we had seven. I think, I think that, that policy delivered seven gateway homes, uh, and none of them were affordable. This is a wonderful thing, is the only people who could qualify for National's Gateway Affordable Housing Scheme were people who were on day one could afford a market home. At, at, at home at market rates, because the banks would only lend to people on Gateway if they could see that down the track they could pick up the full cost of the land and the house. So in National's first term, what they did to help first homeowners into their homes was tax cuts for the wealthy, which none of these first homeowners got, and an affordable housing scheme for the wealthy. And I actually know one of the young women who, who got one of those first Gateway homes, and she only got it because her parents put up their house as collateral. Well, they could have done that in the private market as well. So that was an epic fail on both fronts from the national government in their first term. So what we've seen is the Labor government introduced their Kiwi Build policy, 100,000 affordable homes for first home owners. That's where we've targeted it. And it has scared the bejesus out of the National Party. And let's be honest, that's why we're here passing this insipid piece of legislation, is because now they know that they have to show that they're taking the affordable housing crisis seriously. Well, this bill isn't going to deliver affordable homes. It's not going to do anything to deal with the affordable housing crisis. And there's a horrible moment coming for the National Party where they're going to have to accept that the invisible hand of the market is not going to deliver affordable first homes for first home owners. They're sitting back just hoping, wishing, Mr Speaker, that at some point this, this omnipresent, invisible hand of the market will finally show itself and deliver a housing market that means that first home owners can get into those homes. Well, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Without a government, without a government that takes this issue seriously enough to actually intervene and assist and make sure that the levers are there for affordable, affordable first home owners, it's not going to happen. The market is not going to deliver. So as I said, Mr Speaker, there are things in this bill we support, but it doesn't go even vaguely near the level of action that we need to see from this government if affordable first home ownership is going to become a reality in this country. Eugenie Sage. Well, the Green Party 
continue.